was wondering, because I know you guys open, sometimes Wilco's open for like these giant. Yeah. So like if you open for, like Bob, right, you've opened for the Stones, right? Stones, Dylan, Dylan. Young, So if yeah. you open for like a giant, like do you ever have any interaction with them or is it just like... They keep you separated. Or are they just like, let's do their totally show? Totally depends. Stones, or we like, play they come one back show? and go like, hey, you guys are great. We yeah, love you. Let's, depends let's on the per- do drugs. Totally or they just like, <laughs> like, yeah. Or just, like, drugs. You were like completely separate. What, what's no. the, what's Met McCartney, the Stones came back, hung out for a little bit. Um, very little bit. But yeah. they came, came back and said hello. Neil Young, completely accessible, hanging out like, all the time. Like, do they watch your set? Bob Dylan, do you five think? weeks. Never met him, but not real. Like in you, five you're, weeks? So for five wow. weeks, you're about to let never meet. I mean, that's come amazing. On. Everyone wow. wants a piece of that guy yeah, right. for, for like 40, 50 years. Like, you got to understand that. But like, like, does Neil Young watch your set? Do you think? Like, did he watch your set? I think? think he probably has. Maybe one of the nights. That's I'm cool. sure he has. Maybe that's not. Cool. I don't know. Because some people, you know, like you like the quiet time before you perform. Right. A lot of, you know, I, I totally understand that as sure. well. Sometimes you just need to get in your own headspace and prepare for what's coming up. So if the opening band's on, you may love them, but that doesn't mean you're always going to check them out. So I completely understand that. Everyone's got... Is there anyone you Everyone's got their own pace. You haven't toured with that you want to tour? Yes, that's a great question. Ooh. Is it like as an opener with Wilco or with just... Whatever it is. Oh, anyone I don't you know. I've always... With. Yeah, I don't know. I've always... Um, you know, all those people I highly respect that we just named, but um, David Byrne is one that I've always really oh, respected. My and very favorite I've never, performer. Yeah, yes, yeah. very favorite yeah. performer. That would, be, that would be great, too. But, yeah. No, I'm just... I wonder the same for Mark, because you've worked with a lot of actors, but, you know, your roles with them, big star actors, but your roles mm-hmm. with them were in smaller parts. Sure, right. And are they accessible, easy to yeah, talk to? Yeah, and- mostly. I mean, everyone sort of at some point sort of knows kind of the, the like, the game of the moment. It's like, okay, well, let's do this scene together. We're just going to, you know, we'll pass the time. We'll do this, and then we'll move on, you know? Yes. But the bigger the star is, I've always found the nicer you know, because they know it's weird. True. Like, like for yeah, me, like if true. you work with some like middling star, they but like, like if you work with like Warren Beatty, they'll come up to you and go, "Hi, I'm Warren," and you go like, okay, "Like I didn't know." Okay, <laughs> hi, I'm. Yeah. But because they know it's so weird, you know. So like they'll introduce themselves and you'll be and they'll be normal with you, and and but most everyone's been pretty nice and cool and. Yeah. Who Have has you ever had any makeout <laughs> scenes? I made out with Kim Cattrall. No, you actually had sex with Kim Cattrall. Yes. Sex in the City. Yes. I did. Yes. Did we Wait, how was that? Actually, uh, actually, there's some, there's a little bit of too much of me oh, that you, you that one can see. Oh. Um, Do they like? What's is it that called? in the contract? Fluffing? Yeah, yeah, there is a contract, and there's like a thing what you can. No, I didn't. It wasn't that naked, but it was like you. No, did, were they? I oh, was, was that not just fluffed. that part? It was not fluffed. It wasn't a. It's Sex in the City. You're just. It's, it's pretend. I didn't well, really have sex with Kim Cattrall. No, no, it's no. Act. I mean. <laughs> Wait, do I know what fluffing is? Yes, don't apparently just, you do. No, don't they like just powder your butt? Like if oh, I thought, well, that's not what fluffing is. What's fluffing? That powdering is powdering. Fluffing is fluffing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good night, Very everybody, different. yes. So how, how was everybody on the set oh, of Sex and the They were great. The, there's two things, but the Sex and the Cities, the first thing you need to know is that those girls never wear those. All that show is is girl, they're in hugs. All the till, time. Till one yes. second before they shoot, and they yeah. put on their high. They're never in those high heels ever. Uh, not even just it's, Yeah, but for like it's like and, and rolling, and they put on their heels. Yes. But um, I had the good fortune of uh, being on the most popular television show in America as a character named Limp Dick. So I uh, was. So the, they didn't uh, love you. So the very next, you know, like, so like I was in LA and you, like I would go, like I remember the very next day it was on, I walked into like a mailboxes, etc., and to ma- and the guy's like limp dick, and I'm like, you know, just mail my oh. package. I just really, I just please, just d- d- give me this much. Um, but no, that, that was, there's most of the stars. I, I would say like the bigger the like Neil Young, like that. Right. I would find that people who were insecure about their place are uh, that way but if you're exactly. really a, like a major you're comfortable and you're cool yes. and it was a, i've always had good experiences yes yes the, any the, any with, horror with stories for either of you because you both worked with lots of celebrities god cindy Lauper was a nightmare really <laughs> no she, i like her nice like, person i do yeah. like her I don't think I she talked and t- oh wait i'm kind of doing that too but no <laughs> <laughs> she talked and talked like we know, like, there's there's a natural like separation. Like, it's like 
Eric and I were, we kept like, we kept trying to like, like get in, like get a word in. And we just, we didn't want to be rude really. And so we just try, we just let her go. And we just, we looked at each other, we're like, just let her go. They're, it's lost. <laughs> just let her go. She literally talked for 10 minutes solid. And we just had to let no her go. No give and take. No. Just Cindy. Just let her do her thing. She was wacky. But I kind of like that about her. Yeah. Well, that's her trademark is being very wacky. Yeah. Anyone and, difficult? You know what? And I, I probably shouldn't tell this story because it was a long time ago, and I'm sure he's changed. But um, but no, Mark Wahlberg. When um, he had some stuff, it was years ago, and he had some stuff going on. And a lot of times, the PR people were like, "You can't talk to him about this. You can't talk to him about that. Don't bring up this." We're like, "Okay." So Eric is very creative in. Sneak it in somehow. Like when Jessica Simpson and Nick Lachey broke up, he's like, you could not mention the Simps Jessica Simpson. Do not bring her up. So he very creatively said something about, who's your favorite Simpson? Bart, Mart, whatever the Simpsons are, March, um, and named all the Simpsons. And he just kind of winked at, Nick Lachey winked at us and said, that's funny. So Eric's very coy about that. But with Mark Wahlberg, he pretty much came right out and asked the question he wasn't supposed to ask. All of a sudden, Click. <laughs> he oh, hung, hung up, up on us. Oh. Oh. Or his handler or somebody hung up on us. And I don't know if it was Mark Wahlberg. I think that he's changed a lot since then. Because like you said, that was when he was like at that yeah. medium level. He's kind of a bigger star now. And once they do get to that level of big star, they have handlers that can take care of people like us. <laughs> <laughs> and you, any great stories? I mean, besides the fact that the Stones Neil, came to Stones talk And the Stones came out and Neil Young hung out with you? That's... Um, that's, yeah, pretty that's cool. pretty great, yeah. Hang out, because I, I imagine Neil Young to be like, dude, let's have a beer. I mean, was he that sort of hang, when you say hang out, he like, um, well, like I pulled mean, up when, a chair? Well, I when you do the Bridge School uh, benefit, which he's done forever, it's, it benefits a school at, um, in San Francisco uh, area, and he has this major fundraiser every year, a lot of bands play it, but he always, and what a testament to what an amazing man he is, he has all the people who perform, which you're, you know, maybe eight to ten different acts, varying in size from, you know, major, major stars to kind of unknown bands, but um, he has them all over to his house. For, Do you see uh, the for, model train barn? What's that? Do you see the train barn? The train barn? Yeah, doesn't he have a big model train in this? Oh, yeah. oh no, I, did, I didn't yeah, see so the barn. Train barn, no. Okay. I, I thought you said talk. barn, sorry. He, yeah. he brings some no, acts to the model train barn. No, it was just in his house. didn't see the barn. Side. Yeah, no. Does he sorry. talk the way he sings? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I always wonder about Getty Lee. But, uh, about who? No, that's a, that's, a, that's, that's a pavement song. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, one, one quick question before we end for the night, because I know we've gone a little bit over. Favorite thing you're going to grill on the, on the grill this summer? One word from each oh. of you. Is pork chop one word? Pork chop, one word. <laughs> Kathy. Ham hock. <laughs> Chef. Short ribs. Short ribs, sorry. Meat, it's meat, all meat. hyphenated words. you okay. gotta, you got to hyphenate. <laughs> Asparagus. Ah. Ah. <laughs> I'm looking forward to pineapple with uh, sea salt. Thank you, everybody, for coming. I hope that you're going to stick around because we're going to stick around. So stay and drink with us.